All right, we are live. What is up, YouTube and Google Hangouts? It is Rob, the video game hoarder here, and you are there. And we are here for a special holiday episode of Pick Up Battle. And my opponent this week is Mr. CM Retro Gaming. How are you today? I'm good. How are you guys doing? All right. Awesome. All right. So uh, the whole thing is uh, Pick Up Battles. We uh, go back and forth, round by round, um, showing off our pickups. And then you guys vote and tell us who the winner is of the pickup battle. So um, I guess I will, I, I should probably flip a coin and do it that way, right? Are Unless you, you really want to go first, but. <laughs> are we, uh, are we waiting? Are there people in yet? I haven't uh, looked at the thing yet. Yeah, let me see. Uh, yeah, there's only three watching right now and I'm one of them. So, uh, you know, we can wait a uh, minute or two for people to come in. Okay, let me post this on my Facebook. Real quick, no right fast. No problem. That down, bada bing, bada boom. All right, make sure that we are. Where's my Google Hangout? Good life decisions here. <laughs> so this is uh, this is an interesting series that you've got going, Mr. Mitchell. Thank you, good sir. Pop this up. I saw uh, who was the first one? Was that you and Jake Chaplin? Was that who was on there first? No, I think uh, was it me and Corey first time? I think. Uh, no, it was me and Eric, uh, Humble Bumble, the first time, first episode, and then uh, and then Corey jumped in once, and then uh, then uh, then Jake, then Corey again, and now you. So, <sighs> what's what's Corey's record? Uh, actually, I beat him the first time, and we tied the last time. How how just terrible is that? Like, we went four rounds, and we actually tied on the fourth round too, and we couldn't get anybody else to vote. So, it was, oh, no. yeah, it was a pretty lame way to end it. So, uh, we said we definitely have to do a rematch on that one. But yeah, for sure. Yeah, and that was a Long Island uh, retro uh, edition one. So uh, it was it was pretty lame. We had a lot of nice pickups, but uh, I guess people couldn't. Uh, couldn't pick which one they wanted better. So, uh, who's here? Jason Vectrex. What's on, Jason? Uh, Lox Ness Monster all the way from Canada. What's going on, Lox Ness? One of my favorite Canadian YouTubers. Oh, and here's another one right there. Roaming Dan. What is Hell going yeah. on, man? Oh, always Roaming nice Dan to see Roaming Dan. Dan in the house. I'm going to get some more water. I'll be right back. Go for it. Uh, Mr. Cornrow himself. Oh, awesome. His Barbie pickups aren't good enough. Oh, come on, Jason. You could join the video battle anyway. I'll break out my Corey in the house for you, then we'll battle versus your Barbie. How about that? Yeah, we'll that down one, down one. Or uh, I could break out my VIP that I got sealed. How about that? That Corey gave me. <laughs> I'll go against your Barbie. You might win that one. Oh. All right, let's see what we got. Ugh. All right, we got six people oh, watching. I'm, I'm going to leave you a thumbs up. How about that? Ooh, thank you, sir. Let's beat the algorithm one thumbs up at a time. <laughs> oh, man. All right. So we got six. Oh, check this out, Jason. You'll like this. This is the weirdest thing that's ever happened to me at a garage sale. I'm looking around, and, uh, you know, she didn't really have anything. I looked on the floor, and I saw this. Oh, of, God. Those Atari <laughs> things, right? So she had three three dollars on it. So I said, "Would you take two? And she was like, "Yeah, sure." No so, well, hey, you got any you got any other games, right? She's like, "Oh, my Atari is you know for my childhood Atari. I'm gonna keep it in the game." Like, That's okay. So you got anything older, Nintendo, blah blah blah. She said, "Well, I just got out of a bad breakup, and my boy, my boyfriend took all of the stuff and all of the good stuff." And you know, like now now it's a hostile garage sale environment, right? So I'm like. <laughs> So I'm like, oh man, sorry to hear that. You know, I'll change the subject real quick. Yeah, I do. Uh, I do a YouTube channel. Blah blah blah. I said, I said, you know, CM Retro Gaming. And she goes, yeah, he used to watch that channel. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, well, here's your two dollars. Have a good day, ma'am. <laughs> 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 I'm, like, I'm like, oh my god, that's never happened before ever. I've never been recognized at a garage sale before. Wow. I actually had one of those uh, Atari cases. It took me forever to get rid of. I bought it uh, with a lot of Atari games and NES games for like thirty bucks. Yeah, I, it took me like five years to get rid of that thing. Like, would you would you get out of it? 
Uh, I don't even know. I sold it. I actually made a friend of mine that has a retro store take it. I, I just, I made him in a lot. I was like, if you're taking all this other stuff, you're taking this thing. Just it takes <laughs> so much r- damn room. Like, yeah, I need it out. Like, and it looks like they're going for, I saw one on eBay for 70 bucks or something. Like, Yeah, I, I figured that would be such a pain to ship too. And just, I don't know. I don't want to deal with that. But so I'm, I'm going to put it up for 30 and see if somebody wants it for 30. I don't know. I don't collect Atari. I don't ever play on collecting Atari, but yeah, I, I, I had two dollars so, for that was a deal. Yeah, I actually have to dig up my uh, Magnavox Odyssey two stuff for Jason because uh, he said he was interested in that, and I have a bunch of it. Uh, again, that I got at a yard sale for like ten bucks. I think I got the system boxed, and then a whole bunch of games. Some of them are boxed, some of them aren't. But uh, uh, he, I think he's interested in it. So. I don't think I've heard anybody else ever be interested in Magnavox Odyssey 2 stuff. So that's well, you know, when you start talking about systems older than Nintendo and Master System, that's a very slim market, you know, that want all the vintage consoles, Ataris, Intel, Magnavoxes. And most of those guys already have the common stuff. So, yeah. I mean, I. I, I, you just got to sell dirt cheap, you know? Yeah. I mean, I do have some of them boxed, so I don't know, but I don't know if those type of people are in the boxed games or not. Like, you know, we are with NES or Super Nintendo or whatever. Yeah. So. I got a box of like 13 boxed in television games that I put up for like 70 bucks. I've had one person even email. Like, it's like Donkey Kong. Like, there's some quality titles in there. Hmm. <sighs> what do we got? Bro. Oh, we got going on. Boom, boom, boom. All right, seven people. Look at that. Pop that up. Bada bing, bada boom. I have four of those cases, just not that exact one. There's different ones. I had no idea there were different Atari cases. Yeah. Usually, usually you find them without the lid. The lid always broken. This was actually in really nice condition, and there's a, an Atari sticker that's supposed to go there. That I have, I, t- I took it off so I could clean it. <laughs> that little Atari sticker, because it was like. Okay, so I'll get that back on. Post it. It's pretty sweet, though, man. It's, it's kind of a neat way to store store your Atari and games. Yeah, I actually thought it was cool, and then until I tried to sell it, and then nobody ever wanted it. So I was <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> I was like, oh, I thought this would be easy flip. No, it really wasn't. So, <laughs> yes. oh. I haven't even, like, some of this stuff I haven't even posted yet. And I've been holding on to it for like two or three weeks <laughs> so I can show it. I did the same thing. I got a box of stuff and I'm like, it's in my car for like two weeks now. I'm like, uh, I, I want to post it, but I can't because I'm using it for this. So if I, <laughs> yeah. if I sell anything, I'm like, oh, it's not going to be part of it. So, uh, yeah, as soon as this is over, uh, it's getting listed. So. <laughs> yeah, I'll be up. I'll be up the rest of the night posting some of this stuff. Uh, I'm off tomorrow, so it's not a problem for me. But. Working overtime on my day. I like, I'm only working five hours, though, but last week... Nuts! When you pass it up, you can't pass it up when it's available because you don't know when overtime is going to be available again. So. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Anytime you get overtime, you got to uh, cash in because, like you said, you never know when it's going to be gone. Yeah. Or somebody with more seniority is going to bump you and take it. Yeah. yeah. Thirty horse. <laughs> Are you low on the list or uh, high on the list? I'm, I'm actually fifth in seniority for uh, for police officers. Okay, so that's not too bad, right? Yeah, there's not there's not a lot of people that can bump me. Uh, some of the sergeants, I've got more seniority than some of the sergeants, but wow, there's still a couple sergeants above me that like overtime, so they'll take it. Yeah, Jason, television stuff takes forever to sell. I, I had posted all that in television stuff, and I just end up sending it to Vetrex in a train. <laughs> like, send me back whatever, bro. I'm done that. <laughs> Just give me anything but this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, I thought about taking it to like um like a video game store and just getting rid of it, but they don't give you jack shit for it, so 
I'd rather just sit on it, take it to a convention, you know, put a couple bucks on each game, and hopefully somebody will buy it all. Hey, or at least if you trade it to somebody or give it to somebody that actually wants it, let you know, then, you know, at least they yeah. get something out of it. Sure. All right, how many people we got in here? We got nine people in here now. All right. All right, well, if you want to flip a coin, I don't know when you all want right. to get all right, I'll flip. Uh, you want to call it? Heads. I didn't even flip it yet, but okay. <laughs> and I just flipped it into my my computer screen. So let me. And I just did that again. Oh my god! Here we go. I'm already. I'm already okay. calling. Oh. <laughs> <See that? laughs> Can we I actually believe... see that? No, but I believe you. Okay, that's actually tails. But... All right, I won. Got it. Come on, man. Cool. Heads. Yeah. Yeah, so how did you win? <laughs> One for CM Retro. I like it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, all right. All right, so uh, I won, so that means uh, you go first. You can go first. All right. How about that? We'll, uh, we'll throw one down, test the waters. Am I, am I in the big screen? Uh, let's see. All right. Nah. You know I put somebody on the big screen on the Hangout to make sure that they always stay as the big screen on the – you just click on on the hangout. You just click on my picture, and you get a white okay. around it, and that'll mean I'm locked into being on the on the big screen. Okay. Yeah, I see that now. Okay. All right. So this was a garage sale pickup from before we moved. I paid twenty dollars for sixteen games. So we'll just fly right into it. Uh, Super Soccer for Super Nintendo. Got a couple Game Boy games here. We got Jurassic Park, Lost World, Mortal Kombat. NBA Jam. Those are cartridge games they had. Of course, they said they sold them years ago, and that's all they had left. We did get a stack of cubes. Gotta love the cubes. Yes. Ghost Recon 2. Splinter Cell. This one goes for a little bit of money. Didn't know it, though. When I bought it, uh, FIFA Street 2 with Cristiano Ronaldo on it. Hmm. Desert Storm. Desert Storm 2. Lord of the Rings. That's a fun game, Lord of the Rings. I love those Golden Eye. Games. Golden Eye Rogue, Rogue Agent does not come with a manual though. Underrated game right here. Everything or nothing. 007. Godzilla Destroy All Monsters Melee. Star Wars Bounty Hunter. Harry Potter Chamber of Secrets. The best game in the lot. A game that if you see it on any system, pick it up because it is very valuable. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Like a fifty dollar game right there, complete, very nice condition. Out of all that mess, this is the only one that I will be adding to the collection. So those <laughs> games, twenty bucks. Nice deal. Now, why is that so expensive? Because it's a later released game, and it's uh, it was like short printed. They didn't print a ton of them. It okay. Came out, the, came out on the PS One, and then when they printed it to the PS Two. Oh, no, I guess it's two thousand one. So it was right there when uh, PS One. And like PS2 and GameCube, that sixth generation was coming out. So they, okay. it's just low, low print run. Okay. Yeah. Cause there's a couple of those. I thought the Chamber of Fire, maybe, or one of them. I thought that there was another one that was expensive, but maybe it's that one. I don't know. Uh, okay. All right. So you're done with yours. I will go with, uh, what the hell am I going to go with? What's going on, Corey Zamier? All right, I guess I'll go with this pickup. Um, this was a Facebook deal. She originally had a, a Facebook Marketplace deal. Um, she originally had four games up. Uh, I think she wanted $3 a piece or something. It was something cheap like that. It, they're, they're such weird prices. Like she wanted $2 for this game, 5 for that, 3 for this one for this like it, it was so weird she's like oh my son looked them up and this is what he came up with and uh you know if they were older they were cheaper if they were like he had ps4 stuff that he wanted like 10 15 bucks for that were like sports titles i'm like yeah no, i don't want those so uh this was the original lot and then a bunch of other stuff got added on when uh i asked if they had any other games but here we go with the let's get the crap out of the way um what is this uh i toy play something um 
SeaWorld Adventure, Shamu something, somebody. Uh, Sly 2, which isn't too bad. And uh, this is actually a game that's worth about between 30 and 40 bucks. It's kind of a rare one. I've never seen it before. Um, Graffiti Kingdom. Mm -hmm. And that one is complete, and this is probably the only thing I'm going to keep out of this whole lot. Um, yeah, so then the other stuff started to come out, um, and I picked and choose uh, out of the stuff. Um, this stuff I'm probably going to put together with uh, 3DSs that I have to sell, so NDSs that I have to sell. Um, these were a dollar each. Uh, race car driver, race driver, create a race. Um, Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. I think that was a cartoon, right? Uh, on Nickelodeon or something. Uh, Cooking Mama 2, my daughter used to love these games back in the day. Uh, SpongeBob. Uh, Globs of Doom. Another SpongeBob. Uh, Atlantis SquarePants. Uh, another SpongeBob. Um, a Draw into Life edition. Uh, Disney's Cars. And then the best one that her dog chewed on the case. So, uh, But I have a replacement case anyway because of uh, stuff I turned into uh, GameStop. Mario Kart 7. Nice. And then she had some Wii uh, stuff as well. And a PlayStation 4 stuff and PS3 stuff too. Um, this one, as you can see, is $2 each. But it's like a $20 game. Championship Jockey. I don't know yeah, why nice. some of these horse title games are worth something. But for some reason they are. So Low print run. And that one I think is a Koei, Koei Tecmo game. Uh, yeah, you're right. A really cool game i picked that up at uh at a pawn shop or something yeah so uh it was like 20 bucks i was like what um this one for some reason was like 15 bucks so that's why i picked it up 15 or maybe even closer to 20 um nba 2k 17 uh the gold edition or whatever special edition i don't know what's special about it because that uh, legends edition so uh i guess it's got some special crap in it i have no idea I never played it. I don't plan on playing it. It's going straight on eBay. And then uh, some staples for the Wii. Um, I don't remember how much these were. I think these were like three bucks each. Um, Super Paper Mario. Uh, Super Mario Brothers Wii. Uh, Super Mario Galaxy 2. And probably the best of the bunch, which I find this game everywhere. Uh, I don't know why. It's a pretty decent game. Kirby's Return to Dreamland. Um, this used to be like a $40, $45 game. Now it's like $25. So um, I remember trading it in for $24 actually to GameStop uh, when they had their cash, same as uh, uh, credit deal. So uh, I think that was it for that deal. I think it came out to 31 bucks for all that. So Nice. Uh, yeah, deal, man. I thought it was a pretty decent deal, especially for the the Wii stuff and that one uh, uh, one PS2 game that I'm actually going to hold on to. So I think that's the only thing I'm going to hold on to in the whole deal is this. So, but there you go. So uh, now we need you guys to vote on who got the best deal uh, between my thirty one dollar pickup to your twenty dollar pickup of uh, GameCube stuff and. And uh, Game Boy stuff, and my Wii, PS2, and DS stuff, basically. So, please vote for your winner now. Voting is awesome. Oh, <laughs> damn, son of a bitch. Oh, no, that's 2 nothing. Oh, 3 nothing. Oh, uh, God. <laughs> oh, there you go. You got one. It rolled. Okay, okay. Maybe I should have started a little stronger. <laughs> I mean, you can't you can't find Harry Potter. I don't even know the name of the game. <laughs> you don't find that one every day. I mean, I've picked Mario games fifty times this year. Yeah, it's funny because I I look for that uh, every time I see Harry Potter games. I'm like, I know there's one expensive one. So where yeah. is that one? And then uh, I never find it. It's always the other ones. Yeah, but. it's it's pretty expensive on all the consoles. Xbox is expensive. PS2 is expensive, and the GameCube. 
And usually, like, Jurassic Park Operation Genesis is one of the only other games I can think of that's expensive on every console, you know? Yeah. Uh, maybe, maybe Def Jam. I was going to say Def Jam. That's another one that's expensive on uh, yeah. just about everything. All okay. right. Uh, I think I got that one. All right. All right. So let's do round two. Um, I guess I go first this time. Yeah. All right. I'll save the big lot for last. Um, this is a smaller lot, but there's something really nice in it. So. I will save that one to last. Uh, this is flea market pickups from last week. Um, this was from two different tables. One one table that uh, there's a guy that I buy from kind of all the time. Um, he's, he, he buys like storage units, so he's got like just random shit all over the place, but he gets gaming stuff in too, so... Um, and, uh, but I'll save that to last. I, I went to another guy that just randomly showed up there. Uh, I've never seen him before. He had a bunch of Wii stuff, but it was all garbage. And then he had PS2 stuff. And he was like, oh, I'm not sure how much they're worth. Uh, I was going to, if you want to look at them and see what they are, uh, I'm like, okay. So um, there was nothing spectacular there, but there was a couple titles. He originally wanted uh, four. He wanted four, yeah, four bucks a piece. And, uh, I was like, "Will you take? Uh, will you take these uh, three for ten? So he's like, "Yeah, sure." So uh, this is a game I've always wanted to play and never played. I always pick it up and I'm like, "Oh, I'm gonna play it," and then never do. Uh, Bully, which I heard is a really good game. Um, it's complete. Uh, so that was, I guess, three dollars and thirty-three point 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 cents. Uh, and then this one I always pick up too. Um, I don't know why I, I've had like 20 copies of this game, Simpsons road rage. And then the, probably the expensive one of those three are, uh, uh, is time splitters future imperfect. Um, which unfortunately is missing the manual. Actually, I didn't even re realize that, but this is like a, I think 15, $20 game by itself. So, um, then he also, had some random Xbox games. Um, this one was kind of beat up, but uh, I looked inside. Actually, I wanted this originally because uh, GameStop always trades in well for this game. Uh, it's Need for Speed Most Wanted, but the reason I picked it up is it's a not for resale version. So I've never seen this not for resale version, and I actually kind of like not for resale versions. It's kind of cool to have. So. Um, it goes for like 15, 20 bucks on eBay. Um, but it's just kind of random. You don't really see that often. Now I went to this other guy, like I said, uh, that buys uh, storage units and other stuff. Um, this one I picked up second, but I'll talk about it first. Uh, after I got something else from him, I was looking around, uh, he has like a big van and this was just kind of hanging out on the side of it. He didn't even pull it out. Um, he knew a little bit about the pricing on this one, so but he always goes cheaper anyway. It's uh, grabbed by the Ghoulies, but it's sealed. Uh, and you know how I like sealed games, so I always pick up sealed games. And this is actually a good one, and this is one I'll probably keep. Uh, it's only like 25 bucks, but uh, he gave it to me for 10 So I was like, yeah, sure, I'll take it for 10 And then uh, earlier in the morning, uh, I was there with a couple friends. Um, they were looking at his Nike shoes that he got from a lot. And uh, I don't know dick about Nikes, and I know eBay's kind of strict on them, whether you sell knockoffs or not knockoffs. So I didn't want to mess with it. So uh, I was looking through a DVD uh, box, and all of a sudden I saw one PlayStation game just kind of sitting there. And I uh, was kind of surprised by the one that was actually there. So uh, I never had, out of all the 800 PlayStation games I had when I was going for the full set, I never got this game. And it's a pretty pricey one. So uh, Shadow Tower. So uh, this game is uh, about a $100 game, I think. It's right around 100 bucks. Um, it's an age tech game. I think it's made by the same, yeah, it's made by the same people that did the Kingsfield series. So, uh, it doesn't look that great now, to be honest, but, um, it's a third person, like RPG kind of thing. Um, I don't know. It doesn't look that great to me, but, uh, I'll take it. Uh, I got it for five bucks. 
I brought it to him. He's like, uh, what is that? That looks like an expensive one. It's what, like 20 bucks. I was like, uh, I don't actually know. And I didn't at the time I knew it was like 40, I thought. So I was like, uh, yeah, it's something like 20. And he's like, Oh, five bucks. I'm like, okay. So, <laughs> and then I actually walked away from the booth and I looked it up and it was a hundred dollars. I was like, Holy shit. So, uh, nice. good score. Yeah. So, uh, all this stuff and then uh obviously shadow tower is the the prize of that lot so that is my round two go so uh all yours uh, the pro rpg audience here but i got one game one game i got it off of facebook uh she had two games she had this game and porky pigs haunted holiday and she wanted fifty dollars for each game so, Holy cow. <laughs> so I met her and this is the best part. She said, uh, well, there's like three or four people that emailed me about this. If you didn't flake out, if you would have flaked out, I would have sold it to them and da, 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 da. And people, people have offered me more, but I said, you know, since what we were talking about earlier, have a little bit of honor if you're going to hold it for someone. Yeah. So uh, I verified the board. This game was, came out to late super Nintendo game in 1997, even though the board, when you verify the board says 1995. So for 50 bucks, I picked up a very minty condition of Kirby's Dreamland 3. Wow. For the Super Nintendo. Nice white pins, no no scuffs, dings, dents on it. And I will be adding that to the collection right now. <laughs> How much does that one go for? I know that one's pretty expensive as well. Uh it depends. You can find some for like 90 and some for like 120. The price kind of fluctuates a little bit, but okay. That was a great price for a game that I never see in the wild and I would never spend retail on. So yeah. 50 bucks for a late release Super Nintendo game, I thought it was a pretty good score. What else did she happen to have for 50 bucks? It was that game yeah. for 50 bucks and Porky Pig's Holiday for Super uh, Nintendo okay. for 50 bucks. <laughs> I thought she had other stuff. It's going yeah. to $50, so it's $50 each. <laughs> wow. But the fact that it's a good game, got it for cheap. Again, something I wouldn't spend retail on myself. I beat the other retailers and or retailers and sharks and game hunters. So I thought that was a pretty good score, and I'd share it with you guys. Very nice. All right, so uh, we got um, we got return. Uh, no, we got the Kirby game versus uh, my lot of stuff, including Shadow Tower. So please vote now. I mean, if you guys want to see round three, you got to vote for me, right? Like, I, <laughs> I mean, we can do round three anyway if you really want. But yeah. see, I knew it. RPG motherfuckers. I hate every one of you. Why does Jason Vetri keep calling you plumber? He, I don't know. In one of my videos, uh, I think it's a Long Island retro one. He. Uh, said something about uh uh or in Corey's video i think maybe he said uh, i see a uh a chubby plumber or a sexy plumber or some crap like that and i'm just like what what are you talking about like so uh, we go we run with that joke from now on so i got two i got two votes yeah locks nest monster knows what's up retro <laughs> knows what's up this shit is rigged <laughs> uh, oh, let me, let me. I just picked up a sealed copy of DuckTales too. Let me go get it. <laughs> one, two, three, four. I think it's four to two on that one. Yeah, four to two. It looks like. Uh, I mean, why gotta be like that? Tight, tight. That's not actually a vote. <laughs> <laughs> Tight wife says F Kirby. What? That's not a. Yeah, but you know he's you know he's a, you know he's a yeah. PlayStation guy. So. Yeah. Oh yeah, obscure PS One. It's not that obscure. He found it in a box somewhere for five dollars. <laughs> uh, that I did. That I did. <laughs> How do you get rid of the box on uh, the Google thing for each person? How do you make it go back to? Uh, uh, just click on my picture again, and it'll take that uh, border away. 
Oh, okay. There we go. And then, like, so, like, when you're doing your pickups? Yeah, no, I did that, yeah. But yeah, once I wanted to just yeah. get rid of it, like, now, like, okay. Yeah, you just click on it again. Okay. All right, well, I guess, I guess round three is up to me. Uh, All right, we'll do round three anyway, even though it doesn't yeah, really I mean, matter. Yeah, I, I know, right? The more we're here, might as well do it, so. Yeah, so, you know, it's getting harder and harder to find stuff at thrift stores, and they're really starting to price stuff more accordingly. You know, not the sort of the days of finding a dollar ninety nine or two ninety nine games at thrift stores are almost over. And in fact, the thrift store that I got these from, they had Super Nintendo sports games priced dollars and ninety nine cents, but these games were five dollars each. We got six games here. First one is Animal Crossing Wild World, Zelda Phantom Hourglass. And then four Game Boy Advance games that came with these uh, cool little cases, which I have no, no reason to keep. But we've got uh, Super Mario Advance, Super Mario Advance 2, Super Mario World, Super Mario Advance, Yoshi's Island, Super Mario Advance 3. And uh, I don't know if I'm going to keep this one because I'm not an RPG guy, but Final Fantasy Tactics Advance. So we got all six of those games. For only five dollars each, the uh, Animal Crossing and Zelda show trade into GameStop for the majority of that back, and I should be able to get eh, thirty or forty bucks out of the Game Boy Advance game. So, little pick up there. That's a nice, cool little lot. Uh, all right. Um, yeah, this is a shitload of games. So, uh, <laughs> I will show you a big box that I got them in. So. Uh, yeah, it's a lot of stuff. <laughs> um, the only problem is they got a little bit of water damage on them. Oh, here we go. Uh, <laughs> they do. I mean, what do I, I can't help that. Uh, the, the discs are fine. It's just the covers got messed up. But um, I will show you the games that they are. They got them from a buddy, so I got a pretty good deal on it. But let me run through them. Um, PlayStation 2, Tetris Worlds, uh, Jack and Daxter, uh, crap, boy, will you stay? Um, Avatar. It's actually a pretty good game. Is it really? I know the movie bombed big time. But, uh, yeah, the movie, movie sucked. Yeah, they, I, I don't think they made the rest of them because of it, but, uh, Jack 3. Uh, same as busting out. Uh, another copy of Simpsons Road Rage because I needed one. Um, Pitfall, Narnia, Dark Alliance. This isn't the one that's worth more. Uh, the second one's worth a lot more than this one. Uh, Spyro, Enter the Dragon. A uh, copy of Jax 2 and another copy of Jax 2. Uh, this one's actually sealed. I didn't even realize. And then, I, I would guess this is the best part of the PS2 lot. Uh, Shadow Hearts. This is an RPG. So, for the RPG fans in watching, they'll dig that. A um, bunch of GameCube stuff. With all the fun ones that you like and some crappy ones that you don't. Uh, Zapper, Bomberman Generations, uh, Mario pa Party, uh, not Party, Mario Power Tennis. Now it's Mario Party, Mario Party 4, mm -hmm. Mario Party 5, uh, Double Dash, Resident Evil, which I think I just bought at the uh, con. So that was whatever. Uh, Mario Golf. Um, Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance. The other Simpsons game, which actually is a pretty fun game. Uh, Mario Sunshine, which took a beating in that weather, in that water, I mean. And uh, Super Smash Brothers Melee. Couple random PSP games, King Kong and Madden, which is probably just gonna go in the garbage. 
<laughs> um, and then a couple uh, PS1 games. Uh, this one sucks because I would have actually kept this one, but this water damage is really going to piss me off. Uh, Bomberman World. Yeah. That's, a, that's an Atlas title. Yes, it is. That really sucks now. Um, Final Fantasy IX, which didn't take damage, I guess, because of the case. Uh, next Tetris, Frogger, and which is a cool cover. I like the X Files, the shiny cover. Yeah. Um, oh, there's more PS1 games. Sorry. Uh, Resident Evil Three, with I guess the bonus uh, Dino Crisis demo, which is cool. Tekken 3, which is a cool game. My least favorite Final Fantasy game besides Final Fantasy 13, I think, uh, is Final Fantasy 8. Resident Evil Director's Cut. Hubert. I think I actually need this one. It looks like it didn't take that much damage. Uh, Mega Man X4. And Ridge Racer 4. Now, Ridge Racer have the bonus disc? Uh, is there a bonus disc to it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's like an arcade mode, and then there's a bonus disc or something. There's two discs, so nice. Do you need it? No, no. It just you, sometimes you don't see it, so. Oh, okay. Cool to get. And then uh, a couple consoles. Uh, we a GameCube uh, with Zapper in it, so I guess Zapper was empty. And uh, that's about it. So, uh, oh no, wait, sorry. Uh, this was a uh, D, but it's loose. Uh, this is kind of a pricey game. If it was a, uh, well, it's probably still pricey for being loose, but um, it'd be nice if it was complete. I think I have a long box version somewhere, actually. But, yeah, I was gonna uh, say, I think is that a multiple disc game? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's got a couple discs. So, uh, no manual, but hopefully I can flip it for something. Because, I, again, I think I have a long, long box somewhere. I had the Saturn one, too. I sold it, but I think I have the PS1 version somewhere. So, all right. Anyway, uh, so all that jazz versus uh, <laughs> CM Retro's uh, Game Boy a uh, lot. And, uh, Which is a great score for a thrift store lot. Oh, here we go. Now Shad yeah, just is. comes and Tyler's here. I see how you guys are. <laughs> Back up. You know Dan's going to vote for the RPG. I should have showed a, a PlayStation 4 game. Dan would have voted for me. <laughs> yeah. Don't be like that, man. Gamers Manual. Uh, I'm about to unsob to some of you motherfuckers. I'll tell you what right now. Hurt my feelings. Hey, Gamer's <laughs> Manual is the one uh, I got to uh, strive for. He's uh, the guy with all the big pickups uh, out east over here. So I got to try hey, to catch the big, up. The big down. He gets all the big finds. The whole battle's a tie. Oh, please, Hav, get out of here. Hav, geez. <laughs> the mighty, mighty Hav, geez. Uh, I'll say geez to that comment. I had an RPG in there too, Roaming Dan, just so you know. Final Fantasy <laughs> Tactics. One of the greatest and longest running RPGs of all time, but you don't know. You don't know anything about it. You see, I actually love uh, Final Fantasy Tactics right. on PS1, but I do not like the Game Boy version. I don't. Or the I, don't, I, don't know, I don't know how Rob's going to win. He showed Simpsons Road Rage and Jack and Dexter 18 fucking times. <laughs> Yeah, I really did. I really did. <laughs> well, one of them was sealed. Come on. <laughs> oh, nice. Hey, Hav, bring it, brother. I know he's Mr. Big Shot with uh, all his, uh, you know, Panzer he Dragon and Saga all. games. He buys all his shit, though. Oh, he buys it for, like, full price? Yeah, he, like, he's, he'll trade at conventions and... Uh, no, I remember him saying he'll, he'll trade a whole bunch of stuff or whatever uh, at different conventions. So, yeah. 
Right, there's a lot of good titles in there. Too bad they're all water damaged. Yeah, that's the problem. I mean, I, I might have a couple replacements. Like I said, uh, every time I go to GameStop now, I, I don't even bring the cases anymore. I just bring the loose copies because they give you the same thing anyway. So right. uh, I keep Which is the weird. cases. Does, I don't even I don't know why they do that. Is it a space issue? They don't want to keep the cases around? Cause yeah, I, I think it is a space issue. That's what they were saying. or That's what somebody I was working at, one of them, said... Uh, Especially for like DS stuff, like I mean, you have either a little cartridge or a big ass case yeah. that would be on the, you know, that takes up a lot more room. So, yeah. but uh, it's weird for like stuff like GameCube and like I don't know Wii. Like I, I would so want the case, like right, yeah, so especially especially uh, you know for for your Mario games and your RPGs. You know what I mean? Like you would want the cases for them. Yeah, especially yeah, if you're a collector, forget it. I, I would I wouldn't want those loose, like. That's ridiculous, but yeah, I guess that's another reason why uh, they'll be going under eventually. <laughs> yeah. Just like every other brick and mortar store. And every time I go in there, like it just—it's more and more Funko Pops and T-shirts and collectibles and little little Pokemon tchotchkes and all kinds of stuff. It's like, do you even sell games in here anymore? <laughs> like, yeah, I'll be damned if I have to go to a game store to buy a case. To have a download code in the case and not a game, you know what I mean? I'm not, oh, I'm not doing I hate that. that. You know what I mean? So, well, like now that uh, my daughter wants the, the the next Walking Dead one, and I think it's just there's, uh, I think they give you a disc for the first one, and then the rest you got to download and do whatever. So it's like, oh, yeah. like that's so stupid. Had two Final Fantasy games in his pickups. <laughs> yeah, but he also he also had Jack and Dexter, and uh, yeah. so that that takes those away. That cancels them uh, out. Right? This was totally fun. I've got some other pickups, you know, that I could show that aren't as good. But I'm gonna grab some water and uh, go for it. Tyler's here. Retro Hex. Uh, Retro Hex sent me a package, and I got a package from Video Game Collector, so I can buy two of those to make a. Uh, a so that'll be coming out soon. So I didn't want to. Want retro heck to think I left him in the the lurch there. Thank you for that game though. That is not a game that's easy to find. So that's all. I'm say. It's top secret. <laughs> Very nice. Well, thank you everybody for coming out anyway. So and checking out the show, especially on holiday. I know some people are busy doing other things and whatever, but it's cool of you guys to come out, support the channel, support everybody. Always cool to uh, be involved in the community with everybody else. So, all right. So, okay. So, let's talk about trade show real quick. So, I did my trade show today, and uh, you know, I boxed all the packages and stuff. And I thought, man, that's such a good time, and it's always a good time. But I did mention on the video that links to everybody's that was in the chat or whatever to put. Uh, Put their links there to make sure you check them out because you guys are all going to be hosting trade shows at some point or have thought about. So I wanted everybody, I gave everybody a shout out. I guess that's what I'm trying to say to come over to your channels for those trade shows. So make sure, make sure that everybody in here is sub to everybody else in here. I know, I don't think anybody in here is not sub to me or anybody else. And I, I love, I love people's logic sometimes. Like, where did you, where'd you, where'd you get the, I don't know. Because they, they don't know anything about video games at pawn shops, right? They get electronics and tools and shit like that. TV turned in. So the when they have part, video, yeah. yeah. So when they have video games, it's like I, I don't know where you're getting your prices, but you're wrong. You know. What I mean? So I bought PS Vita games from this woman, literally two months ago for three dollars each. I go back in there, I have a little box, a little little cardboard box about this big, in the counter had Game Boy Advance and PSP games in it again. So I did, when there's like seven PSP games in there, it's like, like, how much do you want for these? And she's like, oh, those are $10 each. And I'm like, nah. I said, I was in here a couple months ago and I paid $3 each. And she was like, well, how much do you want to pay for them? And I said, well, there's seven of them. How about 21 bucks? It's $3 each. And she started, she was like putting them away. She's like, oh no, those are, those are more valuable. And this, and so I'm looking over and I see a stack of Super Nintendo games. And I'm like, well, how much do you want for these? Oh, those are older games. Those are only $5. <laughs> like, where is the lock? 
where are these people coming from? So for five bucks, I picked up a copy of uh, Primal Rage for the Super Nintendo. I didn't have that. And then uh, game I watched Solid Nate live stream on the Genesis. But uh, it's Alien 3 for the Super Nintendo. But these are far better to get for $5 than paying $10 for PS Vita games. You know what I mean? That is uh, unbelievable. And then the last thing I want to show you guys real quick. Uh, I was at a yard sale. I saw a Wii guitar. I said, hey, you got any Wii stuff? He said, my wife's in there looking for it. She can't find it, yada, yada, yada. I said, okay, I'll come back in a couple minutes. Circled the block, came back. Basically, Guitar Hero stuff and Wii Sports that he said he wanted to bundle with the console so he wouldn't sell it. But for five dollars, this is this thought this was pretty cool. Five dollars, we got a sealed copy of Wii Sports Resort, and the seal is real tight on this. So I was looking on eBay. I knew I had to go for more than five dollars, but I was looking on eBay. It looks like they go for about forty bucks. Holy cow! Pretty good look right there for a sealed sealed copy of Wii Sports Resort in the case. I don't know what the uh, cardboard versions go for. Dan, I'm not bashing against PS Vita. I'm bashing against the lady. Oh. And then Ty Tyler, Tyler Haggard hooked me up with that. Uh, Midway Arcade Treasure 3 for the GameCube. So I was a lot of Last one I was missing, and it has Hydro Thunder on it, which is amazing. So we'll be live streaming that, uh, complete with the manual soon. That is a cool game. I love those Midway Treasure games and stuff like that. Those compilation games, I always love those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're cool to live stream because you can just games, you know, back and forth real quick. So. <laughs> That's an instant loss. Oh no, man! Uh, have. <laughs> well, Rob, Rob's already won. <laughs> no, well, I said I want to ban battle uh, Manuel for uh, the King of the East Eastern Seaboard, and yeah. uh, Hobbs said uh, it's an instant loss. So I'll, I'll definitely have to step my, my game for that one. Should've, I should have showed that lot of that lot of thirty Nintendo games that I picked up the other day. But I didn't want to. I thought that was too much. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't realize. I didn't realize I could bring. You know, eight totes of games. <laughs> hey, we said we were both saving stuff up, right? So, <laughs> yeah, like a bag for it. <laughs> no, that's cool. I told you to bring it earlier. <laughs> yeah, Manny brings the thunder, Dan, for sure. <laughs> Manny always gets good stuff. Yeah, I mean, I think I get good stuff, but like he gets like just astronomically awesome stuff. Because I, I don't go into thrift stores or pond, uh, you know. And find like dollar ninety nine bag of games, you know. What I mean, that just doesn't happen here. So, I we'll used to until a couple of years ago. Now, forget it. Everything's like five bucks and up, and like if if they even have stuff, and then it's usually crap. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Another thing I'm starting to run into at thrift stores is they've hired some like you know twenty year old kids, and yeah. they have, but all they have is like sports games, uh, you know, Guitar Hero, Disney Sing It you know, Mary Kate and Ashley games. And it's like, you know, other games came in with it. Mm -hmm. That's uh, another problem. You know, they're, you know, they're taking them before they even make it to the, to the floor. Yeah. So you, you, don't even, you don't even have a puncher's chance, you know? No, I used to have uh, this one local savers. That was, uh, it's like five minutes from my house. So um, I used to stop and it was perfect because right when I got off of work, I would go straight to the savers and right when I got there, around like 4, 4.30, the guy would roll out the electronics cart. And he would nice. always, and they nobody would ever take games from there. So it was always like full of games and everything. And for like a three or four month straight stretch, I got like awesome stuff. And then I used to talk to him all the time. We used to talk gaming and stuff, but he never took any of the games, which is great. So, uh, and then all of a sudden, like one time I got there and like a couple minutes before he rolled it out and he was like, dude, man, like you've got it. Like, this cart is, like, for you, totally. I'm like, holy shit. So uh, he brought it out, and it was, like, nothing but, like, box Super Nintendo and, like, NES stuff. And it, the, oh price were, the prices were all over the place. But, like, I got uh, a Super Bomberman 2 and, like, that, that Super Bomberman, the big uh, Super Nintendo case thing. That's, like... Yeah, the big box. Yeah, the big box one. Um, I think I, I got Mario Paint complete in that big box. Uh 
I got Death of Superman for Super Nintendo. Uh, there was a bunch of other stuff. So I think I spent a hundred bucks for all of it, but it was like twenty five games, and they were all boxed and complete. And I was like, holy shit! And then uh, I think I went on vacation like a week or two later. I come back, the guy's not there anymore. And then I haven't seen a video game there under the price of like five or ten dollars since. That's that's any good. Oh. Anymore. So I'm like, uh, great. So crazy. Yeah, my savers connection is totally gone. So. Oh, man. Oh. Well, that's awesome. Hey, everybody's lining up to face Rob Mitchell now. We got <laughs> Shad, Shad, Shad Juice wants to taste, Hob wants in, uh, Gamer's Manual. Oh shit! <laughs> hey, whoever wants to do it, I have, I have, I have a blast doing these, so it's, it's fine. Like, I'm totally in. It's fun just to, to do it. It's fun just to hang out and uh, be a part of the show. Says the loser. <laughs> it's, it's fun hanging out and talking to everybody and, and just chilling, like you know. So, I'm, I'm gonna go throw my rare uh, Harry Potter game on the shelf. <laughs> There we go. Thing of beauty, man. And it was cool because, you know, you drive the yard sales. It's so competitive now. They had a bookcase. And, you know, you see the bookcase, you see DVDs, VHS, and all that stuff. But you immediately recognize, you know, Xbox games, GameCube games. You get band across them. Xbox has that little green band across them. So when they're stacked up next to each other, you just automatically just zero in on it. So, and it was like right out on the sidewalk too. So anybody going past it saw it. Pretty awesome. I'm actually getting uh, somebody on Facebook makes those like retro pies or whatever. Yeah. And I told him I said, "Man, this is what I needed to do. These are the consoles I need on it." He's like, "150 bucks, and I can get it to you in like two days." And I'm like, "Well, shit, that saves me the time, money, and effort of researching and learning how to do." It buying parts i was like uh yeah for sure so hopefully i'll be getting a retro pie in a couple days that has a uh, nintendo super nintendo game all the game boys game boy color game boy advance master system genesis graphic uh, neo geo the arcade stuff virtual boy it's just like fully loaded how much is that 150 bucks that's not too bad uh, considering you get all that stuff yeah, and I don't have to do any of the work or go buy parts. Comes with a controller. So, I asked him if he's ever had any problems with people using it to live stream, like with Elgato or Streamlabs or any of the compatibility issues. He said he doesn't know. So hmm. I'm going to give it a go, see what's up. Hmm. Uh, oh, one other thing we were talking about, I think uh, the other day, is uh, if anybody wants to get in into uh, like a Secret Santa type thing. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, I kind of want, I've been doing them in, I know Roaming Dan knows about them, uh, that I've been doing them in other groups, and uh, I kind of wanted to get one together with everybody um, if they want to do it. Uh, we obviously got to set a minimum for how much the boxes are. And uh, I, I don't set a max because if you want to really hook the person up, then it's cool or whatever. But um, let me know if anybody wants to be involved in one and uh, we'll, we'll figure it out. I'm probably gonna have to make a, like a Facebook group or something so we can all kind of list what we're looking for. So it makes it easier for the people that want to uh, send you stuff out. So you actually get something that you actually want instead of, uh, you know, just a box of crap. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I'm, to I'm, I'm, I'm totally in on that, Rob. So yeah, keep me posted. Peter okay. D. Canadian Peter D. Sofa. Right. The, the, the only, the only problem I have is it, it, we kind of got to keep it probably USA only because I mean, I don't want one person to have to pay like 60 hours in shipping, shipping it to, another country while everyone else is paying like 10 bucks, you know? So it kind of makes it a little unfair for people, unfortunately. And but, honestly, I can't, you know, Canada's typically, depending on what it is, you know, it's usually about $10 more, which isn't that big of a deal for me, but I know some people might think that's, you know, if you're sending like a small box or a, a bubble mailer or something, 
it's about 10 bucks more than it would be in the States. Okay. I guess that's not bad, but I guess it depends on how big the box is, I guess. But sure. I know, yeah, yeah, I, sure. I know some stuff that me and uh, Corey sent, I think to uh, Dan one time, I think the shipping was like 60, 70 bucks. So. Oh <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> it was kind of crazy, but, but uh, yeah, just let me know in the chat or even on uh, comments. If you want to leave comments on the, on the video and uh, I'll try to get in touch with everybody and, uh, like I said, I'll probably make like a little Facebook group or whatever, so we can uh, list kind of what we're uh, into and all that. So uh, there, there goes Fluffy coming in at the end. Thanks, Fluff. Yeah, that's mean, bro. <laughs> I'm not a, if I'm a poo poo head, you're a you're a butt. You're a butt. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Your words hurt, Fluff. Your words hurt. <laughs> need counsel. I need counseling now. Yeah. Well, you might need counseling from that beatdown you took today, too. What? <laughs> All right, man. All right. I mean, I got, I got, uh, I got Kirby three. You got eight copies of Simpsons Road Rage. Awesome. Congrats, guy. Congrats. Okay, and a yeah. jacks and a jack <laughs> that is sealed. Okay, yeah. so yeah, <laughs> take that. I'm sm you smell that? It smells like collusion. That's what it smells like. <laughs> Oh man! What did you pay for that big box of games? Uh, it actually cost me two hundred bucks. So, oh, yeah, I spent a, a good amount, but um, I think I can make it back with all the Mario's and stuff. Um, even if I wait until um until GameStop has one of those trade ins again. Yeah, and then I could just trade in all the loose copies and just make a, a killing on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I want, uh, that that Kirby game. Uh, Tyler was one of the th cars in gaming in the chat. Tyler, he was one of the, the people that emailed this lady game after I did, and I said, "Well, who who emailed you or who texted you?" And because uh, I saw it on the Facebook link, right? Like, oh, I, I sent you a PM or whatever. Well, I saw yeah. his name on there. And I was like, was it was it Tyler? Or Tyler? And she's like, oh yeah. She gave it up right away. She was like, oh yeah, yeah. He said, don't, don't ever sell games to him. He's a dirty reseller. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh man, he was in the hospital too. Uh. Yeah. And then I, I sent him a picture. I'm like, man, how you try and snipe this game from me? You're in the hospital. What are you gonna do? <laughs> your ass over there and pick it up and get out of here. <laughs> Have that person bring the game to them in the hospital. Yeah. <laughs> That's another one. That is another one of my pet peeves. Like say you're selling you're selling like you know a hundred dollar game or whatever. And they'll be like, oh would you take 80 bucks for it? Yeah sure no problem. Uh can you deliver it to me? No. You can have one or the other. I can bring it to you and you can give me a hundred bucks or you can come pick it up for 80 bucks. I wish I could call Kroger and say, oh, your gallon of milk is four dollars. Would you take three dollars and bring it right to my house? Don't be a fucking moron. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> <laughs> There's this one guy in our, our local in our local retro group that uh, always I, I can't stand meeting him because it's always uh, such a uh, to do. And uh, first of all, it's always like if I got like a, a thirty dollar game, he'll say, oh, can I give you ten? And I'm like, no, you can't give me ten. <laughs> <laughs> and then finally even if we agree on like 20 20 something then it's always oh okay well uh can you meet me here and can you meet me there and i'm like no i'm the one selling it you come to me like he's like no but uh can you meet me here and can you meet me at this time only because this is the only time i have to, to meet you i'm like no that's not how it works like if you want the game you come and get it like oh, yeah, yeah for sure like i like i like i was saying earlier man like I, I, I'm not going to say that we always have those videos they can put, oh, did Metal Jesus ruin YouTube and did he ruin video, did angry video game, ruin video game prices? And it's like, I don't know anything about that, but I do know that people watch a lot of that content, a lot of pickup videos, and they think that they should get the same prices. They think that they should get $2 games and $5 games and find, you know, rare stuff at flea markets or wherever. Well, if you want to do that, 
don't lowball me on Facebook. Get your ass up at 6.30, be at the, at the flea market at 7, and go hunting, digging through boxes like everybody else. Like, the goal of these people, you know what I mean? Like, Yeah, I mean, I'm up at uh, 3.30 in the morning on Sunday, okay, to get to the flea market by 5 tops. Like, that's so I can beat everybody else there and I can get the good stuff. Like, I mean, if you want to wake up that early and meet me there and or beat me there, then more power to you. But, you know. Some of these people are unbelievable. And you know who's the worst? Worst of the bunch is the GD toy collectors. I hate dealing with toy collectors because every – oh, man, you know, I know this is a $200 toy, but – there's a slight little nick right here on the flap, and that's going to that's gonna lower the – shut up. You're either going to buy it or you're not, dummy. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I, was sell, I was trying to sell those centurions, and some dude was like, oh, I thought these were sealed. I said, homeboy, if all these centurions were sealed, I wouldn't be selling them for $250. I would sell you one for $250. Well, is it all there? Yeah, it's all there. Well, you know, if it's missing a part, I understand, bro. I've been buying, selling, and trading for like 10 years now. Like, I, <laughs> I know more than you do. You know what I mean? Like, this nickel. Oh, there's there's a little. Right here. Okay, shut up. You, you know, like, what are you doing, man? I just rather, toy, toy I just rather, yeah, I'd rather not deal with people like that. Forget it. It's it's such a hassle. Mm. Yeah, that and I'm starting to get into the Lego guys. Are oh my god, Lego. Oh. You have a lot of like 60 minifigures. You're like, hey, I'll sell the whole lot of minifigures for 100 bucks with shipping. And then you get like two responses, like separate out this one and that one and that one and it's like dude, then i gotta like price three ship them to you reshoot repost take down my other post like no i'm not i'm not yeah Le lego collectors are pretty bad too when it comes to nonsense like that like ugh. <laughs> the trials and tribulations of people recently yeah. video game collectors do this they go oh okay does it work uh -huh. yeah okay uh -huh. Okay, I'll take it. That's what yeah. they did. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I haven't. Ha, uh, Tight's asking about Eminem's new CD. I haven't listened to an Eminem album in like I don't know. I'm forty. Yeah, I I don't think I I've listened to an Eminem CD since uh, around when the last his la his movie came out when whenever that was. So. I actually used to be into rap and like stuff, but I, I can't listen to rap now. Like, forget it. It's terrible. Yeah, there's, terrible. A sweet, there's a sweet spot for me from like from about 1990 to about 2003, 2005. That's what I, that's the rap and hip hop that I listen to. I can't stand the new stuff. It's all out of the beat machine and it sounds like they're whining. And I just, yeah, it is terrible. And then some of those like young kids that like have like, I don't even know, like all that crap in their mouth and, and their hair is like all fuck. I don't know. One of them looks like uh, I think he, he got his ass kicked or whatever. But it, I, I don't. I don't know. He looked like a uh, like a a bowl of like Fruit Loops, like with all the colors and like just all the crap. And he had this thing in his mouth, and I couldn't even understand what he was saying. Like it was just a hot mess. Like I don't know. I, I used to listen to like Biggie, Tupac. Uh, uh, who else was around back then? TMX. Uh, um, even Wu Tang back then stuff like that so Dang. Uh, even jay-z back in the day when uh before he became uh who he is now but, yeah it was good stuff back then man yeah. i don't know well oh, check my gotta check my my emails gotta stay up to date on the social media machines all right rob has skinny jeans with rainbow dreads i i couldn't fit in the skinny jeans I don't, think, I don't think my arm can fit in the skinny jeans. <laughs> Ty White saying, you guys don't understand M's new C. It's not that we don't understand it. It's just that I haven't listened to it. And honestly, I don't really care to anymore. I did, see, I did see Machine Gun Kelly make a diss to him, though. But, and supposedly, uh, he's like the only guy that like did something. I don't know. I guess Eminem was mouthing off and... Machine Gun Kelly, which I don't, I mean, I, I know who he is, but I don't really know who he is. I guess dissed him or something. I don't, <laughs> I don't know enough to say anything about it, but. And yes, DMX rocked back then. I don't really want. 
until he became a psycho. And I think uh, he pretended he was a cop one time and got arrested and some other stuff. Did he go to jail or something for taxes or? A lot of different things, I think. There was another guy, another guy called Mystical. I used to like Mystical. I think yeah. he went to jail. So. Dang ya! Get on the floor! <laughs> Grab me. Uh. Rob is wearing two toupees. <laughs> oh, toupees. My hair might be turning white, but <laughs> it's not coming off. I still, I still got plenty of hair. I'm gonna put this in a package right now. I promised, uh, I promised this Godzilla game to Retro, not Retro, but uh, Henry Gonzalez. That's a pretty game, a uh, pretty good game, right? I think I it's, haven't played it, but it's not too bad. I would say out of all the Godzilla games, this is probably the best one, unless they got, you know, like some super game from Japan or something. Okay. That, I, you know, the Nintendo one isn't that that great. Oh my god, the Nintendo one was so hard. I remember playing it when I was younger, and. Uh... It, the levels just went forever, and then uh, I don't think you got to like every level you got past. Like they didn't like refill your like life meter. It just it just stayed at the same thing, so it was impossible to beat. Tight White says, "I'm old and out of touch." You. <laughs> Mile High Game Hunters, pick up battle, betting begins. Uh, a little late for that, Mile High. <laughs> yeah, what's up, Mile High? <laughs> He's in the wrong uh, time zone, I think. Roaming, Roaming Dan is asking, who's hosting the next live trade show? Uh, I don't know. Rumor is it might be Hav. I heard Hav was supposed to do it this weekend or next weekend. But uh, I said I would do one, but uh, he said he was going to do one, so I, I backed off on it. But... If he doesn't want to do one, I'm, I'm, I'll gladly do it. I, I do like that. Uh, I do like the Secret Santa idea. You know, keep it, keep it at like twenty five, thirty bucks somewhere in there, whatever it costs to ship. So, I think that'll be fun. Yeah, uh, who doesn't like uh, a random box of games coming to your house? And uh, you know, I mean, I always thought that was fun, but. Mm. Chris listens to Catholic hymns. <laughs> I, I listen to Catholic hers. You know what I'm saying? Ha ha. Ha ha. All right. Well, Hob is hosting it this Saturday, apparently. We have another trade show. Spread the word. There you go. There we go. What time, Hob? I'll be at work, so I'll watch, but I won't be able to uh, participate. Don't worry, guys. You can get some waterlogged GameCube games if you want. <laughs> I got them for you. The discs are fine. So, I mean, you know, if you have an extra case, it's not a big deal. Even the manuals are okay. It's just a stupid cover. But, uh, I need to finish up with Deal with Hav anyway. He's got a bunch of sealed stuff I want, so. <laughs> Yes, Roaming Dan has been bugging me on that. Yes. No, I'm not wearing Turtle Beaches. <laughs> I don't think I am. No. No, hell no. Turtle Beaches are too damn expensive for me. Fuck that. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, if you stop buying uh, Simpsons Road Raid games, you could afford some Turtle Beaches. Oh, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Wait, I think I do have a... Do I have a Turtle Beach? And if I do, they're the really cheap ones. Uh, no, those aren't. I think I found a couple of them at, uh, like, yard sales, but. I'm always uh, a little weary to buy, like, headphones and stuff like that at yard sales. You know what I mean? Like. Yeah. Unless they're brand new in the box. Oh, I mean, I always make sure I clean them up and whatever, but, uh, yeah, you, you, you never know who wore it, and then you also never know if they actually work, but usually they're so cheap, people just want to get rid of them for, like, a couple bucks, so. Make my bed. <laughs> uh, 
Anything else? Do you want me to clean my room too tight? <laughs> Bada bing, bada boom. I'll get that out to Henry. Well, boys, this has been fun. I appreciate you uh, having me on the channel, Rob. It was a good time. Oh, uh, thank you for coming. I, I was, I was definitely uh, wanting you to come on one of these. Uh, so it's definitely cool for you to, uh, to uh, make it. I gotta run out, take the trash. Then we got a bolt. We just moved in, and they had like a bunch of like furniture and stuff that was like trash broken. So I got to run that down to the curb so they can pick it up for bulk pickup tomorrow. But guys, I'll be back. Ooh. <laughs> and there he goes. Damn, he didn't even say goodbye or anything. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, uh, thanks for everybody for coming. Uh, that was a cool battle. Um, glad uh, Chris showed up and uh, took the beating that uh, he was supposed to. And uh, definitely uh, happy for everybody coming in and uh, hanging out and uh, voting and just, uh, you know, chilling. So have a good night, everybody. And uh, I'll see you guys uh, at somebody's stream. Everybody's always streaming. So, And uh, definitely at the trade show. I'll be there. So if anybody wants any uh, waterlogged uh, game from games, I'm down. So, And, and yes, I cheated. But, you know, it's my show, so if I want to cheat, I can cheat. So, Rob is out.